This is video one of three. This is for a Honda HS80 snowblower. That's how to get the carburetor out. Next one's going to be how to fix it with fiberglass resin. And then the third one's going to be how to put it back in. Brian's Mobile One. So this is a simple trick to deal with gas that's spilling from a fuel line, especially from yard and garden stuff. Uh, the snow blower, you see how the gas is dripping? You stick in a Phillips screwdriver 
and uh, because of the slope of the point of the Phillips, it doesn't tear up the inside of the hose. And now, uh, whereas that would be leaking everywhere, it's not. So we got everything disconnected. I like to leave the spring and this in there because one helps the other stay in place and that way you don't confuse it. And the carburetor is free. See here we've harvested a ripe carburetor with a little thread or hair or something in it. So there's your float. If you pull out the pin to the grenade, then this will come out. This is your needle, your float needle. It turns the gas off when this floats up. That little plunger sticks up into the seat and uh, shuts her down. No more. Uh, this is your main jet. You can see it's like a screw. You see that looks like a screw, you can put a screwdriver in there, take that out, soak it in cleaner, and make your snowblower go again. Um, you don't have to pull all of this off. You can just pull the bolt out of the bottom of the bowl after turning the gas off, like uh, to this position here. Turn the gas off, take the bowl off, um, get this screw out, and uh, you can take that out, clean it, put it back in in the spring if it doesn't start. It should after you do that. Let's see.